Okay, so welcome along to the Dutch Grand Prix of Season 10 here in Alphonse C. This is, um, yeah, I already said, this is the Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort, obviously. Um, yeah, we we uh, we returned here to Zandvoort in 2021 in real life one all the way, and we haven't raced here since 1984 before that. But here in FNRC, yeah, this is now the fourth time that we're going to race at this very famous track. And yeah, let's go ahead and get qualifying started, shall we? Okay, green flag, five minute timer has begun. Q1, Q2, Q3, I'll announce who, uh, uh, who is eliminated once I see all the people, like, allow. No, we're not, a no. All right, okay. <clears throat> yeah, anyways. Oh, I gotta reset. I can't spectate people. Hang on. Alright. <sighs> Lucas stuck. Okay. Alright, already. We, we didn't even complete his uh, outlap. Just, just... I, I would like to, run, I'd like to remind the new people of the rule that you aren't allowed to cut in qualifying to Why? Game time. Uh, Matt, get him out. Oh. <laughs> Why did you guys leave the pit exit so late? Uh, I don't know. All right, so anyways, everyone's completing their outlaps. Like we have a yellow flag already. All right, so yeah, obviously down, if you if, oh oh yeah, by the way, if you flip or um yeah, if you flip in qualifying or the race, then obviously you are out. So uh, well, that's obvious because your car isn't gonna unflip itself. So oh well, uh, the tow truck is here this weekend. So um, if we have to fl get the tow truck out, then that's gonna be an option. James Rigby looks like he's going to be the first one to start a lap, and he's already set a 31.7 in his out lap. I don't know why he was... Yeah, okay. All right, so we have one of the Red Bulls behind the Audi, but we're going to spectate James Rigby. Obviously, he hasn't raced... Um, oh, never mind. Okay, well, he's weaving, so there's that. Haven't raced um, in a minute, and he's back now. He took a bit of a hiatus. Pixel joins a bit late. He's trying to get his internet fixed but through Tarzan corner you can see the Red Bull going extremely wide that's a corner cut already for well, the Red Bull in the background James Rigby going through the famous turn three banked corner very difficult um, corner to do and get a slingshot exit as best he can we're having a little bit of lag issues but that should be fine with um yeah, anyways, uh, this is the Brit completing the first sector of James Rigby. It's a 29-3, pretty solid, and a uh, good first sector. Hug the inside line all the way through, I don't know the name of this corner. It's some Dutch name. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Through this corner, just about flat. Don't go too wide. James Rigby does get onto the gravel. It's cost him a bit of time, and through this long, long right-hander, just sweep into a left-hand hairpin, which, again, is very long. Pixel has disconnected, so I'm... Uh, uh, can we bring that car to, uh, or can we bring Pixel to, the, here, let me, yeah, let me go do that. Pixel, where's, uh, where's that corner at? Yeah. Um, bring, again. Yeah. Oh, looks like he's, yeah, he's having problems, okay. You see, I don't know what Bruno's doing on the outside, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's there, so. Yeah, I just green flag it, who can, I'll just move the car, I'll just move it. Yeah, oh. move it. Let me just, yep. It's. Alright, that, that'll do. Alright. Uh, bring again. Alright, Pixel, get in your freaking car, you fat lord. Alright, James Rigby, back on board with him. If, where is he at? Um, oh, he already crossed the line. Okay, it's a 26 4 for the opening lap. And it looks like we have about 12 people, Pixel including him. If he gets a lap in, so. Uh, we're gonna do bottom four. Yep, yeah, bottom four. Bottom four out. In Q. One. Two minutes to go on the clock. Waza, Luca, and Lewis at the minute, and Liam, only to get good laps in if they want any chance of improving. Greninja War is actually down in um, P8 right now. Jam is improving in the first sector. Greninja Warrior needs to improve, and he sets a 29-4, about two tenths down on the break. Right now, he has to get past this Mercedes of, um, I believe that's the new driver. Um, and green, oh, looks like he's, um, reset his tires, so I might have gotten a Cornica, and he has to reset his tires now to go again, he's gonna have one more attempt, of course, so, gonna be a crucial lap for Grinja Warrior, Luca down in P11 for Alpine, hasn't had much practice today, or yesterday, so Luca a little bit on the, uh, <clears throat> at a disadvantage, Jam is improving, maybe gonna set into a 25, if he can keep it together, he's currently rounding the final corner, easy flap. And it's banked, of course. Jesus Christ. I'm... TP, dude, quick. Mate. <sighs> Fix your internet, honestly. Like, this is bad. 
All right, James Rigby across the line, and he sets a 26-2. He has improved, but he lost time in that final sector. Greninja Warrior, with a minute 10 to go, starts his final flying lap. Matt, do you want to get that wall ready? It is ready. Oh, okay. All right, Bruno rounding the final corner in the Red Bull. Bruno's looking to bounce back after a tough weekend at Spa. He is looking to bounce back this weekend here in Zandvoort. Obviously, he's still struggling with his track. But he's learning to get the grips with it. We see Lewis go up to P2. Hang on a minute. Lewis pick in P2 for Braun GP. This is this is worldy days, my lord. Okay. You may be... Uh, what I'm going to say is you may be wondering why the wall is on the X of turn one. That's where the pit entrance is. So. Oh, okay. I froze for 10 seconds, go. Jam. Okay, all right, Jam. Waza now goes to P2. So lo mo multiple cars um, finding improvement. Waza for McLaren jumps up to P2. Got to be great news for McLaren. So now Luca, Liam, tested and Green need to find improvement. And Green hasn't improved in the first sector. So this is bad news for Green Warrior. Obviously, it is the bottom four. Lewis says GG's. And I think Pixel, he does need to start his lap. And I can't quite seem to spectate him. So I'm going to reset really quickly <clears throat> to see if I can spectate. Tell me who crosses the line last. Okay, let me go ahead and... I might as well just watch the starting line then. All right, eight, six, seven, five, four. Looks like the Mercedes crossed it last. It's uh, is he gonna make it? The Bron GP isn't gonna make it. That's Green who goes up to P two. He didn't make it, but he he does improve. So Green Jewelry to P two. Um, so the Mercedes of tested, I think it was. No, it's Olaf. Looks like you it's could, Olaf. Uh, Green, if you go through the entrance of pit lane. All right, so Green Warrior did find a time, and it's a 26-9, just enough to get to, in, and to get through. I'm Porsche, yeah, I know, my bad. Um, to Q2, currently the bottom four, Pixel, Luca, Bruno, and Crush. Bruno, looks like Bruno's going to be out of qualifying. Yeah, Bruno's out of qualifying. It's, I said he needed a bounce-back weekend, and it's a disaster for Red Bull. Bruno knocked out in Q1. It could be both Red Bulls, actually. Remember, yeah, Crush. Um, oh yeah, Luca does go up to P2, and that pushes Matsky down into the bottom four. At his home Grand Prix, this could be bad for Matsky, and I think he might be out. Yeah, Matsky's going to be eliminated his home, in yeah. his uh, home race. Crush needs to find an improvement after the magnificent weekend. What about Pixel? Uh, Pixel is also improving as well, but yeah, uh, what's it called? We're gonna spectate crushed all the way around because I mean, remember the type of weekend that we had last week with him? He nearly won the race, and he, there's no way he can be eliminated in Q1 here. We have Pixel's a what the? Uh, Pixel disconnected. Pixel's Great. person for me. Yeah, Pixel. Yeah, he's gonna disconnect. So oh. Pixel's. Oh, uh, he's gonna start this race dead last. Oh god, and here comes um, Crush to cross the line. Is he gonna uh, take Liam with him? Yeah, Liam is eliminated in Q1, and. Crushed makes it through. <laughs> Woo, okay. Um, yeah. Looks like Pixel will start this race dead last, just like he did last week at Spa. But that was because he had a. Well, it was meant to be a pit lane start. Um, but yeah. Q1 results, bottom four L. Um, why is there a CC in the final corner now? Uh, because, yes. My lap didn't count. Great. Oh, Pixel's lap didn't count. Oh. Oh, it's because he disconnected. It, it does that. So, yeah. If you disconnect or, like, leave, and then, yeah, it does that. So, yeah. We gotta, we gotta wait for everyone to, to come back. We should have nine people here. So, I can't go. One, two, three. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, nine. I think that's everyone. Okay. All right. Looks enough. What uh, the hell, Liam? A top ten shootout. Bottom three. Nah. Bottom four. Oh, actually, top ten. Fine. Wow. Fine. 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 Green. We'll do bottom three. Tell me when. All right. Green flag. Sh oh. Green flag. Yeah. All right. Fine, we'll do, we'll do a top 10 shootout. The bottom three will be eliminated. And Bruno, um, now ya esta esta que vuelva a recordar como conducir. Bruh. Okay. Alright, do 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 do. What the, what, what? Yo, I'm not the only one that sees that. Come on. Yo, I'm what? not the only one that what? sees that. Nah, what? I'm not what? the only <laughs> Yo. <What? laughs> Yo. Yo. How's it gone this bad? Oh. How's it gone? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa.
come to turn uh, three. And just. Do you notice anything? Oh my god! Whoa! <sighs> Fuck's sake. Alright. And he's doing it again. Who is it? Who's who's doing it? Just 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 stop it, okay? Alright, yeah, this time it's gonna be bottom three, so we're gonna have a top ten shootout. Alright. Let's see. Who are gonna be the three people eliminated? We see like three cards in the final corner. Basically all together. I think it's crushed, um, Olaf and Jam. So Can I spe I can what? Oh, I'm spectating Olaf, that's why. Alright, so, we're gonna go on board with Olaf, fighting with Crushed, Mercedes v Red Bull all over again, and oh, Olaf made a mistake, okay, never mind. So we'll go on board with, um, oh, with Waza, why not? Waza in the McLaren, let's see what he's up to, he's going through, um, turn three, you can see the, you can see the Porsche tested, taking that high line, Waza has hit the wall, that's cost him time, unfortunate for him. Okay, we're going with the rookie, Testa, or Tested, I'm sorry, um, yeah, this is his debut race here in uh, Porsche, here in FNLC, and he is um, currently, you can see he was hitting the wall in the background, but he's currently made it to Q2, can he make it to Q3 on his debut, that'd be a great accomplishment for him, of course, through the very uh, fast right-hander into a slow left hand, as a Mercedes of Olaf ahead of him, Granger Warrior ahead of these two, Games Rigby with a 29-2 in the first sector, pretty competitive. Oh, but Tested's gone wide all over the bumps, and you can see the uh, Brawn GP also went wide. I'm not sure if that was Lewis or not, but, um, uh, what's it called? I think it was, might have been, not sure. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it was Lewis, so, there was that. Um, yeah, alright, so, anyways. Looks like Jam... What's he doing? Oh, James Rigby absolutely cooking right now. Purple, purple in both sectors. Crosses the line. And it's a holy. It's a 25-3. And an all-time lap record here at Zandvoort. Okay. It's only Q2, mate. Calm it down. James Rigby has absolutely cooked the entire field. All right. Um, bottom four. It's bottom. No, bottom three. Bottom three. Um, yeah, we're just. We. Yeah, okay. Who's the 10th person? Um, is it Crushed? Yeah, it's Crushed. No, it's not. Liam? Oh, it's Liam. Okay. Um, no, Liam got out. Uh, Liam's Liam eliminated. eliminated. Liam's eliminated. Wait. No, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. It's, it should be nine people in general. It's, it's nine people in general. Yeah, okay. So, never mind. We don't have a top 10 shootout. It's just... We have a top 6. Yeah, a top 6. Who's a top 10? Oh, it was green. Oh, uh, maths are wrong. Maths are hard. Yeah, I know. All right, Jordy. Uh, do you agree what I, what I did? What? In Would the you... final corner. Look. Oh, make do it slightly agree? visible. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Wait, is yeah. this the wall or is this a CC? This is a wall. Okay. This is a wall. All right, that's fine. I put two of them so like it does, it stops yeah. them from coming back. Yeah. James Rigby says he can't move. Um. Oh, he's lagging. Okay. All right. Green has gone up to P2, so he should be safely through Q um, to Q3. But the bottom three at the moment are Tested, Lewis, and Olaf. <sighs> Remember Lewis last week where he nearly died at Eau Rouge. Um, yeah, we don't want him dead, of course. So, uh, yeah. Lewis will start his final flying lap. And we're going to go on board with him to put pressure on him. Let's see if he can handle the pressure. All right, Lewis, come on. I know you're good at ovals, but let's see your skill around a circuit. Through Tarzan Corner. That was a pretty nice apex, to be fair. Didn't use all the track, though, so... Yeah, through turn two. It's a slight lift. Don't go too wide. Oh, it might have compromised him. Yeah, it does compromise his line. He has to hug the inside the whole way around. Not ideal for Lewis. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough for an improvement, but we will soon find out. You can see Tested has gone up to P6, which should, at the moment, put him through. But we see the poor spinning around, and that's Tested. He's spun the opposite way around. Okay. Lewis goes through him. Um, that Alpine was putting cars on the barrier. Oh, great. Okay. All right, Lewis now all the way down to P9. Waza and Boom in, uh, in the bottom three as well. We're still spectating Lewis. And the Bronji P looks, he's got a bit wide onto the grass. It's going to cost him a, a plenty of time. In the first sector, Lewis has found an improvement in the 29-9. 
Will it be enough though? That's the question. Exiting the hairpin and onto the final sector. Entering the stadium section of the racetrack. Here at Zanvoort. Is it going to be an improvement for Lewis picking the middle sector? It's a 33-4. It's not good enough at the moment. Lewis needs to pray that he gets a magical final sector, but he's hit the wall, exiting the stadium section, and Maskey praying that Waza gets uh, one more lap in and makes it count. Lewis sliding Bring out at the penultimate corner. I don't think this is going to be it. Six seconds to go. Green gets another dab. Okay. Who's going to be the last? One second. Lewis doesn't make it. Lewis hasn't made it. Lewis hasn't made it. That's it. And Lewis, he's eliminated. Oh no, Lewis is eliminated. Wazel apparently has made it, so Wazel continues on. As well as Boombox. Boombox and the Ferrari. This week, everybody's hit the wall at turn three. That might be it for Boom. Oh, that could be it for Boombox. He's going to continue on, but Wazel also makes a mistake. And he's sliding around all over the place. And oh, that's going to be it for the bottom three. Wazel, Lewis, and Boombox. Unless Boom just, I mean, I don't know just flies then we'll see oh no he's gone wide and yeah that's it there's no way those three are gonna find an improvement that is it boom will carry his ferrari all the way down to the pit lane your middle sector jam that's why oh okay is Bo is boom improving He's not improving, he's just kind of driving. He's just driving somewhat quick, okay. Alright. Let me go ahead and get this ready. Champ, what the hell is that? Oh, never mind, I'm stupid. Okay. Q2 results. Bottom 3 out. I should have done a bottom 4, but oh well. Oh yeah, boom, enters the pit lane. And that is it for him. Unfortunate for Ferrari. Unfortunate for Lewis and Waza as well. Why am I getting text messages? Who's texting me? Bro. Okay. Um. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Um, so we should have six people at the end of the pit lane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that one of the new ones? Or who's, I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, to the new drivers, make sure when you're coming into the pit lane in the race that you pit at the correct pit box, otherwise you do get a penalty for it, so, uh, yeah. Alright, Jam, I'll let it slide in qualifying, but, you know, I don't care. What's up with my Sector 2? Um, so, Green Ninja Warriors complaining. Oh, why are you going? Why, why are done. you going? Just why? <sighs> for fuck's sake. Go back, you fat lord. Yep, go ahead. Put it in reverse. Put the it wall doesn't always mean go. Put it in reverse. You look, there. you look for the timer or the green flag. Green. Yeah. Yeah, you fat lords. Honestly. Oh, it, it, I mean, it was the rookies. It's the new ones. So, like, they can. I mean. Alright, now green flag. Okay. Oh. Green flag. There you go. Now you go. And let me reset times. Why are you kicking Bruno? What? He's taking cars and absolutely binning it into the... Yeah, he's, like, pulling it into the catch front. Alright, whatever. I had enough of deleting his car every time. Um, I'm gonna rejoin really quickly, because my frames have dropped a little bit, so... This is Q3, yeah, this is Q3. Alright, so just leave Bruno alone. Just let him let him just sit. I don't know. Alright, so what the What? What up with my ca what happened with my camera? What? <laughs> hang on, hang on, what the No, I can't be commentating like that. What the hell is this? I reset. Yeah, Liam's in the FI8 box, which we actually never use. Who deleted the pit lane? But the pit lane's here. Oh my god. Okay. Can I be FI8? No. What the? Uh, what? Okay. Anyways. Um, 
Dude, what's up with the... Okay, the camera's, like, broke for me. Like, honestly, I don't know what it is, but, like, the cameras are broken for me. So, I'm just gonna have to, like... Yeah. Can I be FIA? No. Um, alright. Anyways, um, I guess we're just gonna have to commentate like this. I don't know what else to do, because if I go in like this, the cameras just break. Like, I don't know what the hell happened, but, okay. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, Q3 now. And everyone is on their first flying laps. James Rigby. Looks like Luke has gone purple on the first sector with a 29.6. Will Jam beat that? He'll beat that easily by 4 tenths and a 29.2. Not as quick as we've seen him, but, I mean, it's still pretty competitive. Over the bumps he goes. Cost him a little bit of time. Jam opening the track as much as he can. And this is the sector that has to count for him. Oh, but he's gone wide. He's missed the apex. Not going to be ideal for James Rigby. Exiting the hairpin. Now you can see the Porsche tested. <laughs> Um, looks like Ranger Warrior in the background giving chase to the uh, the Audi of Jam. In the middle sector, it's a 32.4 compared to Green's 31.9, but it's invalidated by Ranger Warrior. He currently crushed it on provisional pole. Jam a little bit wide to the penultimate corner. Turn 13, now 14, long bank uh, corner. Uses all the track possible. Crush is on provisional pole, but here comes jammed across the line, and it is a 26-3 Luca down in P2 now. <laughs> Luca, so, what the hell? <laughs> you, whose body is just tumbling around? And okay, we'll go on board with Luca then. So Luca, oh, little oversteer through the exit of turn three, should be fine though. He is on a limit. You can see the Mercedes Voloff is ahead of him. Eagle has now joined the game. That's okay. Uh, can I be the great girl? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if you just if you want to say you're trans, just admit it. Luca in the first sector. There's an improvement. He has tied James Rigby's first sector. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, look. Oh, we got real close to hitting the wall there. That definitely cost him a bit of time. This Mercedes Voloff is not helping the Alpine out. It's getting in his way, and you can tell that Lucas getting bright and pissed off about this. Olaf at the minute. Down in P6 in the first sector. Looks like Green is improving. So is Crushed. Luca in the middle, in the first sector as well. Olaf is improving with, um, what's it called? Yeah, it looks like Luca's going to go reset his tires. Olaf will go on board with him in the Mercedes. This is his debut in Q3 now. Obviously, his debut in the league. So, well done to Olaf. First drive from Mercedes, and you can tell Mercedes are going to be really pleased. And Greenwich Warriors saying, bro, what? What's happening with him? And he's, um, this guy has collisions. What's this got collisions? Kick him. Minute 20 to go. Minute 20 to go. Minute 20 to go. Keep it going. Anyways. Why is he on? Apparently, Wazel has collisions. I don't know why that's a thing. But anyways, everyone's starting their final flying laps. James Rigby starts his final flying lap. And this is the lap that has to count for him. Luca has gone to P2 with his most recent lap. Crush is on the proven up as well. He's going to get one more run as he crosses the line. Luca, not Luca, Crush, or he goes to P3 ahead of Olaf. Tested. Hasn't even set a lap yet, but Crush little oversteer through turn one. But it does use all the track through Tarzan Corner, which is I just what you need. Greninja Warrior will now start his final flying lap. What? Piss off. What? Lewis, fuck off somewhere. What the hell is that? Dude. Pit lane start for that. Piss off. Okay. Um, anyways, Greninja Warrior. We're going to go on board with him through turn three. Uses all the track, and you can see, I think his right rear might have rubbed the um, tire barrier at the exit of three for that. Has it cost him time? No one's improving in the first sector except for Tested. Olaf improving in the middle in the first sector. Green Ninja Warrior hasn't found an improvement, but it's still a pretty decent first sector. So now he needs a mighty middle and final sector if he wants any chance of getting pole position. 20 seconds to go left on the clock. But James Rigby is going to go um, onto the main straight. Now he's following Olaf. Is James Rigby going to extend his lead for a pole? No, he's not. He gets one more lap to do it. Crush and Luca also on improvements in the middle sector. Luca to cross the line. Can he improve? Yes, he can. It's a 27-0. Beats Crush by about five tenths of a second. What about Crush on the Red Bull? Coming around the final corner now. That's it for the check for the, um, the Q3. The checkered flag comes out. Crush looks like he's going to be the one to cross the line soon. Tested goes to P3 for Porsche. That's a great result for him. What about Crush? He goes to P3 and beats Tested for that second row spot. Now it's only down to Green Warrior. 
One sector to go. One main straight to go. He's worth the corner or the one on the final corner. And this is it for Greenwich Warrior. Can he get pole position? Or will he start P6? He's gone to pole, but it's less than a thousandth of a sec or a hundredth of a second. Green and your warrior, despite the odds, you just can't beat this man. Pole position and the odds were against him. Oh my gosh. Green and your warrior. Well done, mate. It is another pole position for the Canadian. And look at the time difference. Oh my god.